Okay, so previously we have implemented a buy now for each product that we have. And then we press the buy now button, we are redirected to a checkout page where we can pay for this specific product. And now we are going to add a shopping cart into which we are going to be able to add a few products. And we are going to be able to pay for all the products at once. So you don't have to pay for each product separately. You'll be able to add products and remove products from your shopping cart and pay for products all at a time. So let's do it. Now, first of all, you don't have to just type all the code after me. You can either find this commit in the GitHub repository and copy from there, or you can go to the readme. This uh, specific uh, work that we are going to do now is also available in the readme in the chapter session-based shopping cart. So you can also feel free to copy from there. You just don't have to type everything if you don't uh, want to. So let's do it. Okay, first of all, we're going to add a button to add to cart in our products index. So let's go to our products index. And here we're going to add the a new header, uh, shopping cart. Okay, and table description. And here we will say, if our shopping cart includes this current product, then we will have a button to remove the product from the cart. And it is going to be a method delete going to the remove from cart path. And we're going to have a button to add the product to the cart. So let's see if it works. I add these two buttons and of course it doesn't work. It doesn't work on the place where we say add cart.include because we did not define what the cart is. So we are going to define what this cart is. Now we are going to keep all the information about the cart in the session. So we are going to go to our application controller and add a cart object to our session. So I'm going to say before action initialize session and before action load cart. Now in initialize session, I'm saying that uh, our session is going to have a cart a card object and by default it is going to be an empty array. And we're going to find uh, the add cart as uh, the projects, oh, as the products that uh, belong to this card. Okay, let's refresh. And we don't have uh, the error that we don't have a card anymore, but we have this problem. We don't have a method add to card. Well, it is because we did not define the root. So let's go to our roots and define a root for adding to the card. Now, uh, again, I will copy it from here. We are going to have two roots, one for adding an item to the card and the other for removing an item from the card. So we're going to have a post to products add to card and we're going to get the ID of the product. So here we're going to add a product with a specific ID and it will go to the products controller add to card action. And we're going to have a similar thing, but for deleting, a product from the card and we're going to go to the products controller remove from card action. So let's refresh and we have this add to card button. I will press the button add to card and it says the action add to card could not be found in the products controller. So we're going to add the action add to card. Let's go to our products controller and here we're going to add the action add to cart and remove from cart. Okay, products controller. And here we're going to have two actions, one to add an item to the cart and the other one to remove an item from the cart. So we are just uh, finding the ID of the product that we press uh, the add to cart for. Then we go to the session cart object and add this ID of the product unless uh, this ID is already present in the shopping cart. So you can't add the same product twice. And we're going to redirect to the products path. And similarly for session cart deleting a product and redirecting to the products path. So let us see if this works. Now I will press add to cart. Okay, I added to the cart. 
added another product to the cart, I can refresh and you see both products are in the cart. But uh, I don't see the cart anywhere. Let's also display the shopping cart somewhere. So for example, in the nav navigation, I will go to application HTML and uh, say that on top of everything, I will display the shopping cart. Okay, here I'm going to have the shopping cart. And then I'm going to just call the add cart from the application controller. Let's see, I will say equals add cart. Okay, and I see all the products and the product details that were added to the cart. I will remove one product from the cart. I will remove another product of the cart and we have an empty array. So this way we can add and remove items uh, in the cart. Looks quite nice to me. Now let's make this look a bit better. So let's uh, say we will say cart dot each do a product. And we will say equals product dot name and an end statement like this. And here we have two products that were added to the card. I will remove one product and we have only this MacBook Pro added to the card. So looks really nice to me. And uh, that's basically it. That is how we can uh, add and uh, remove products to the card. And next we are going to work on uh, having one buy now button for all the products in the card, but not for each product individually. But for now, let us save our changes. So I will say git status, git add all, git commit main, and uh, I will say session based shopping cart. Okay, looks good. Now let's start the server once again and see. So at the moment when we press the buy now button, we do what? We pass the ID of the product and redirect to the checkout create path. So I go to the checkouts controller, I find the product and in the line items for the price, I find the price of this product. Now we are not going to look for the product uh, anymore. We are going to get all the products from the shopping cart. So I will remove the product here. I will uh, remove uh, this uh, params ID here. We don't need just one specific product. We need all the products from our shopping cart. And actually we will have this uh, checkout uh, button or buy now button also in the shopping cart, not next to each product. So I will uh, take it out of here. And I will uh, add this uh, payment button in our application HTML under the shopping cart. Here is the new place for the buy now button inside the shopping cart. Okay, so now we have the buy now button inside the shopping cart. And uh, let's say we will remove all the items from the shopping cart and we still have the buy now button visible, we don't want it. So let's make the buy now button visible only if the cart is uh, present, if there are any items in the cart. Let's say uh, if uh, at cart.present, then we will have the buy now button, else we will not have the buy now button. So you see, now we have no buy now button, but if we add one or two products to the cart, we are going to have this buy now button visible. So it looks nice to me. What if we press this buy now button? We get an error. Why is that? Because uh, previously we got the price from the current product, from the selected product, Stripe price ID. But now we get uh, an error, undefined local variable or method product. Well, because we don't define one product. We want to get, uh, let's say, uh, all the uh, items in the cart. 
So instead of saying just one line item that is one product, we would want to add a few line items. So here is one line item, here is another line item, and each of them is going to have their own Stripe price ID. So we can as well ju just try to call the card. All the card, add card. Line items equals add card. Let's try. I press buy now and nothing happens. Why is that? I go to the logs and, and invalid request error in create. Because I need to pass the line items in the correct format. So what does there have to be? There has to be a price and a quantity. But I'm just passing the card. And what is the card? Let's uh, go to our application HTML and uh, show just what the card is. Let's say equals add card. So add card, but instead of this, we need to say quantity one and price equals this price ID. So uh, to format our selected products into the right format, we are going to use Rails uh, JBuilder. So here is an example of JBuilder. And we are going to uh, kind of make a JSON out of each product that we have in our card and pass the JSON array, the formatted JSON array into our shopping, into our checkouts controller. So I already have this uh, prepared. I will go to our products dot rb where are our products rb the model product rb and here i'm going to say define uh, to builder and i'm going to create a new j builder object and i'm going to say that the stripe price id is the product price and the quantity will be one for now at all times okay and now we are going to uh, try to call the to builder method on our card. Let's go to our application and uh, say card.toBuilder. What will happen? Uh, nothing will happen. What we need to do is uh, say card collect item. So the item is kind of the product, and we're going to uh, turn each product into uh, this uh, correct JSON format that was defined by Stripe, that we defined in our product RB. And uh, we are going to uh, say dot attributes. So it is all from the JBuilder documentation. And I refresh and here we have uh, this uh, already formatted list of uh, items in our card. I remove an item from the card and it's not here. So to the Stripe checkout, we are just going to pass the price as the Stripe price ID and the quantity as fun. And we can have a few uh, items in our uh, array or hash, whatever. Okay, so let's try to pass this kind of data to our shopping cart. I will take this uh, card collect and move it to right here. So line items, and we take the card and run this command to format the card into the format that uh, Stripe accepts. Let's try to press the buy now button. And it's working. So you see we have two products, a Disney movie and a Samsung S7. I go back, you see it was canceled. I go to products, I remove a product from the card. I have just one product. Let's try, try to press buy now. And you see it works. Now I will try to add three products. So I add this product, I add this product, I press buy now. And you see, I have three products that I can pay for at the same time. I can input my card some information and pay. And 
I will have uh, successfully made a transaction where I purchased three different products in the same checkout session. And I managed to select all the products in to our shopping cart. So, success. Looks nice to me. So, what have we just done? Basically, we have uh, said that in our line items, in our checkout session, we're going to pass all the items from the cart. And uh, this is the main point. So, now let's change our save our changes and push to Heroku. And this is all for this lecture. So feel free to ask questions, comment, and like the video. Thank you.